You might be familiar with Texu Image, Texu Video, or even Texu Music from not too long ago. You might have even seen this video I made about Music LM and was either surprised by how well text synthesized music can be or how bad it is compared to actual music. But no matter what you felt, the progress did not stop. This time from Meta, we were given Music Gen, a text to music synthesis model that is much better than Music LM. And it's open source! Last time with Music LM, Google did not release anything besides their official demo. While the AI research was really cool, it was kind of disappointing not being able to try it out myself. But until a few weeks ago, Google published a new website called the AI Test Kitchen, where they provide interactive demos for people to try out Music LM, which is pretty neat. It only took me two days to get off the waitlist for AI Test Kitchen, probably my first time getting off a beta waitlist. And many of my viewers said in Discord that they got in around the same time too. I tested it, it was pretty cool, and we can use this to compare my own results for Music Gen later. And for Music Gen, and we were not only given their codes but also four different models to choose from. Meta really out here open sourcing their cool AI research to bless the world unlike certain other companies. <clears throat> Music Gen introduced a single stage transformer language model together with an efficient token interleaving pattern, which eliminates the need for cascading several models like hierarchically or upsampling. And if those previous two sentences sound meaningless to you, it's okay, we are on the same boat. All you really need to know is that it uses transformers your optimum pride though <laughs> My bad, I, I just had to. Originally, I was not going to make a dedicated music gen video too. I was just gonna be like, woohoo, a new AI text to music, it's so cool, you should check it out and call it a day. However, I'm glad I didn't do that. Not only music gen can generate up to 32k hertz, its text condition is so much better thanks to something novel they proposed which might have changed how AI will process any music or even temporal content in the long run. And if you do want to know more, don't worry, I got you, I spent the last few hours trying to understand it, and here's my quick takeaway about how music gen works. So music is a continuous flow of sound, which can be hard to work with directly, especially for a computer model. What music gen does is that it breaks down this continuous flow into a series of discrete chunks or tokens using a process called RVQ. Each of these tokens then represents a small piece of the music, which achieves a compressed and discrete music representation that can be processed more efficiently. These tokens are then combined together with the language model through a strategy called token interleaving. This approach allows music gen to generate high quality music samples while being conditioned on textual descriptions or melodic features, providing better control over the generated output. So this method simplifies the processing of harmonies and melodies from various instruments, making it more efficient. And compared to previous research like Music LM, where it uses different stages of the model to handle different aspects of the music generation process like in a cascading way, the AI architecture for music gen is more streamlined and simple removing the need for chaining model outputs. Speed-wise though, the results generated from AI Test Kitchen for Music LM is like pretty much instant. It will also generate two tracks, not just one. For Music Gen, it is much slower, like around 30 seconds for one track. It might be because I'm running it on hugging phase and it's not optimized or it's not run on a dedicated server like AI Test Kitchen, which can possibly have four A100s, who knows? And we won't really know since there is no benchmark on speed so far. But you can definitely hear the quality difference. When I said music gen is a lot better, I'm not joking at all. Music gen is much less muffled than music LM. The instruments are more coherent and cleanly separated from each other, unlike music LM, where different instruments or vocals blend in with each other. Three of them are different sizes, where the bigger the better, but takes longer to generate. While the fourth one is capable of melodic conditioning on top of text to music. Let me just show it to you real quick.
pretty sick, right? Music LM has similar functions, but once again, music gen is still much more consistent and coherent. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the length of a single music gen generation depends on the model and is mostly limited to 30 seconds. However, you can extend it by 10 more seconds using the last 20 seconds as the context. On their official demo, they showed a 2 minute long generation and people have even made collab versions of music gen that can generate up to 5 minutes or more. But yeah, anyways, we finally have a benchmark that other researchers can use and we would probably also see a rise in more text to music research down the line. I'm going to be really excited about what people will be able to make by the end of this year. And once again, gotta give it to Meta for open sourcing yet another amazing work. If what I explained today interests you and you want to start learning about AI or machine learning in general, you should definitely check out today's sponsor, Brilliant.org. In my honest opinion, Brilliant is currently the best platform to learn math and computer science interactively. They have thousands of lessons hitting topics ranging from the foundational to advanced maths, with AI, data science, and neural networks sprinkled on top. So they pretty much have the perfect roadmap for people to dip into AI with no prior experience and hungry to learn them all. What's also special about Brilliant's interactive lessons is that instead of just purely memorizing formulas or plugging in equations, it helps you build up intuitions in understanding the logic behind the concept. Like for me, I used Brilliant during my high school years and it made understanding calculus so much easier than reading boring textbooks. The lessons themselves are not super long either, which is perfect for you to learn anytime and anywhere. So if you want to tap into any STEM fields that you have always wanted to learn, you can quickly get started by heading to brilliant.org slash bycloud to get a free 30 days trial with Brilliant's ever expanding interactive lessons while also supporting this channel. The first 200 people will also get a 20% off an annual membership. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. A big shout out to Andrew Laschelias, Alex J, Chris Ledoux, Alex Maries, Degan, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow my Twitter if you haven't and I'll see y'all in the next one.